120 minutes and uh, here we are outside the RCA or RCA? RCA. RCA is a record label is it not? As I told you and of course it's 480's 13 year itch and with me we have uh, two members of Inside. Not the Inside but Inside. Inside. No, no the Inside on that one. I'm sure people like to add it to yeah, it. Yeah they always do. People like yeah. me always go the Inside. And you are the, the latest signing to 4AD Records. Uh, not quite 4AD, it's just a Guernica. All oh, right, <laughs> it's just a label. Yeah, well that kind of counts as being 4AD. Yeah. Now, I'm aware of you as being earwigs before. Uh, earwig. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> See, I always do this, the earwigs. <laughs> You're an earwig. Yeah. And obviously you've changed your names and... Well, somebody left as well. Not you, because you're still here. No, I'm still here, yeah. So that was why you decided to change names? Um, well, we've kind of... Uh, been more influenced lately by the kind of dance kind of thing so we're doing more technologically based things now right. there used to be a kind of guitar setup basically but now we're branching out right so musically you felt you're a different project so uh, yeah a new One name was found name. are you still based in brighton is that yeah. where you're from yeah excellent stuff and tonight we're actually going to see a bit of you live but you just explain to me because we usually ask people to select a song for us to film and you're playing integrated songs yeah, is it? It, it's it has a title of euphoria number one that's its working title so it's like a sort of live remix of tracks yeah it's it's got six tracks from the forthcoming album all linked together okay and have you done this before or is this like a unique experience yeah, this tonight is, this is especially for the ICA this okay. is. all right well, well we'll have a selected highlight <laughs> they're gonna nod which bit we film here we go Dance there, a uh, video we played a few weeks back. I haven't seen the film yet, but I heard it's great. I've been joined here at the ICA by Heidi Berry and also Gail, who plays guitar with Heidi. Welcome to the show, 120 minutes. Now, obviously, you know why you're here, and we all know why we're here, which is uh, the 4AD celebration. Uh, you've been signed to Creation and 4AD, haven't you? You're sort of the two hippest and coolest labels in the UK. <laughs> Well, I did two, two records for um, Creation, yeah. and then I did actually, um, I was involved on the last This Mortal Coil right. record, which is how I then eventually Moved became involved to. with 4AD. Yeah. So it wasn't your intention to try and go out for those cool record labels, they just kind of came your way? Oh, it's just because I'm so cool, you know. This is what it is. <laughs> so for yourself, you've just brought out a, a new album, it's two, it's two years since your last record? I think it's two years, or just under. Yeah? Just under. So what do you do for two years? Why, what's been happening? Well, I wrote, um, and I looked for exactly the right producer to work with, because I was very, very, um, had a very strong idea of what this record ought to be, mm. that it ought to be, you know, a progression from the last one. This, this record, I feel, is the most live approach that I've ever used on a record before, so I really needed to recruit all of the right people in the way of musicians. Right. And you know, be so working in the, the right studio. You ended up well, I worked with Hugh Jones, oh, right. who I think has worked with just about everybody. 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 Nice. And um, yeah, it was great to find somebody who actually, he and I, um, thought along the same lines quite a lot yeah. of the time. So how does it work for you inside 4AD? Do you find you have a lot of freedom just to do what you want to do, or is, how would you describe working within this record company? Um, total, total freedom, I guess. I guess they kind of know I'll be all right. Cause no, nobody comes and breathes down my neck in the studio at all. Um, they kind of wait until I've got something I want to show them, which is great for me. Um, and I think they know that 
if they have a really, really, you know, good piece of work on the way and a, and a trusted artist, there isn't really much point, you know, to, to, to pressurising them. Because, I mean, it is a, a label about producing good art right. and then learning how to kind of sell good art is, you know, progression from that. Which is a nice balance to have. Yeah. We're going to take a look at your latest video, including Gail's grandma. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the video. Keep an eye out for it. And putting my mouth to your I cannot translate Japanese to English or English to Japanese. And what I had to say is unsaid. And what I had to do is undone. On your screens there, live in performance from the ICA, Red House Painters, and um, some of the group have joined me here backstage. Welcome to 120 minutes here in Europe. I don't know, have you done 120 in the States or not? I don't, not to my knowledge. Maybe we've been on there once you or something. You've played on it. <laughs> have we? <laughs> You've not been, not been spoken to as yet, anyway. We could have been. I, I, we were on some TV station. I don't know what it was. No, that was Channel 20. So, obviously, you've been to Europe before. We're just talking. You've played some dates here before. But let's talk about yourselves in 4 AD, because obviously that's the big celebration which is going on. Now, your actual um, signing to 4AD was quite an unusual process, as, as I was reading, in that um, Mark Einzel from the American... How, well, how did that come about? <laughs> <laughs> he was here with our demo tape, and he gave it to somebody that gave it to Ivo, so... Yeah, he was a big fan of you guys from San Francisco. I guess a big enough fan to help us out, you know? Right. Because up until that time, how long were you going in San Francisco? For about two years? Yeah, or? about two years. Just playing live, and yeah, you were happy just playing live, or you want to? Uh, we were making more money then. <laughs> <laughs> we were. Yeah, that was before people heard the record and realized how awful we were. Then they stopped coming to the shows. And right. Yeah. But you were just you were playing like local gigs and stuff in San Francisco. Yeah, and college radio airplay, you know, with our demo tape and all that. Right. And then since signing to 4AD, I mean, if you found that being an American band signed to a European label, coming back to America, as it were, does that give you a kind of mystique or something or is it like why have you gone well, up to Europe to sign to a deal? We pick up the 4AD fans, you know, that's kind yeah. of interesting. The American side of it, is, that, is it a plus or a negative? Or? Well, I think they're maybe more intrigued by having an American band over here than yeah. vice versa. Yeah, over yeah. there it's, I don't know. Okay. The people that love 4AD obviously like us, but as far as Americans, some of them think, oh, you're on that yeah. yeah. That label. Yeah. To begin with, you've never had like a huge San Francisco audience right. from the start, so we're not like local favorites at home anyway. So. All right. It's nice to come over here. Then. We're going to check you out again live, but you were just telling me before that you're actually coming into Europe in October, November mm -hmm. for a, a tour. Right. A full tour of 15 Europe. days. Yeah. Okay. October, November. Red House Painters. You ain't saying nothing that I don't When you say love, still in light, won't shine on tomorrow. Chalk white apartment walls, your face. Joining me here at the ICA are two members of Betty Savet. Welcome to 120 Minutes again. Yes. Um, when we, was it January we filmed you? I think so. Was, in uh, Holland. About, about January. Things have been very good for you since you January. Can, it's been a busy year. You might say that. Yeah. We've been, uh, we've done a lot of touring. Yep. Been to the States? Did you go to America? Yeah. 
been here twice for yeah. one big, very big tour of about 30 shows, Six something. Six weeks. And I don't know. And for a, a shorter tour. Right. In fact, when we filmed you, you, you weren't signed then at that time to, to no. Kanika? At the moment, we, we, we have signed at yeah. the Matador Atlantic combination. Right. Um, but that's, uh, that's only for America. Okay. All right. And in Holland, we stay with our very special small own yeah. little uh, friend Brickman label so you've performed here this week yeah you were here the other night and stuff uh, in fact I think you're the only are you the only European band on the 4AD sort of roster that, is there I'm not there? sure these days lots of Americans lots of English yeah one Australian man I saw yesterday yeah know. in fact you're the, you're the only Europeans I just think how was last night anyway performing well, we had a great night and lots of fun, and yeah. I thought the show was all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what are you up to? You're going back home tomorrow, and then what's, yes, what's the next stage? Unfortunately, we have to go back tomorrow to and Holland. You're back. Well, you're writing. We're, you're working. Yeah, we're going back to the rehearsal room, and I mean, we uh, we don't do that many shows right. in the future, and we're all waiting for the big holiday month. That's right. September. <laughs> Taking a hull, taking a holiday. Yeah. All right, well, listen, thanks for talking to us. Okay. And we're going to take a look at uh, Tomboy now on video. Yeah, with me in the bar of the ICA, Warren. From his, his name is live. You are his name is live. I really. am his name is live. You are, and not only just that, you are the, the host. I'm the compere. The compere. The French say. Of the whole week. So how, yeah, how did that happen? It was a cruel joke played on me by the staff at 4AD. Yeah. They, they told me I'd get paid. <laughs> to be the compere. Right. Right. Uh, you must be enjoying it, I presume. It's really great. I get to meet all the bands. Right. So, what, you haven't met people before, I suppose? Because how often uh, do you get over to 4AD live, in the we UK? We live in Michigan. Yeah. You know, it's stage-shaped like a mitten. And uh, nothing goes on there. No bands come through. We never come over here. Right. So this is the first time we've ever played over here. Oh, excellent. Is it your first time into 4AD at all? I must yeah. Have... Oh, never right. seen it before. It's a great office. <laughs> as a thing. It's so, really how, nice how did it come about with yourself and 4AD as a thing, signing um, to... It's kind of an uh, unlikely story. We, we sent them a cassette, mm. like a demo, yeah. and they called us back and said they really liked it and wanted to release it. Right. <laughs> That's bizarre how that happens. But wasn't this more complicated? Because, I mean, you tend to make all the music yourself over... Right, in my basement yeah. of my parents' house. Right. I live with them. And are you a sort of perfectionist in that area? Is it Not really. No. It's pretty sloppy. Just knock them out. Yep. All inspired by being where you are. And, and eating food. Eating food. Too much food. And listening to good music, presumably. Right. All kinds of good music. Right. A lot of stuff on 4AD. you got it, got it down to Pat, have you not? I'm um, practicing all that. So there. the dilemma that I must put to you is if you are comparing the show, who's who's comparing you when you come on to perform live? Um, you are. Ah. Didn't they tell you? <laughs> no, actually, I introduce us as someone else. Ah. And then walk back out. And it's like a joke. Excellent. The senior itch continues here in 120 minutes. Uh, the 4AD records celebration, anniversary, whatever you wish to call it. And I've now been joined by Meriel and Graham from Pale Saints. Welcome again to you to 120 minutes. And first time to you, hello. Now, we we're just talking, we we're trying to work out last time I spoke to you, which we reckon is about three years ago. Yeah, probably just over three just, years ago. Just had, uh, I think the first album was just kind of. Actually, had it come out then? I don't think it even come out, had it? No, it that came out at the beginning of 1990. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. just kind of got that. And then you joined in the July, July August, of that July year. 19. So, fill us in. What's, what's been happening in the Pale Saints of late, apart from playing here this week? Well, we've got a new lineup. Uh, it's uh, Ian, who used to play bass and sing. He, he left last August. And uh, we've got a... Canadian uh, young lady on bass now, right. called Colleen, and uh, I'm doing uh, all the singing now, <laughs> so it's up to me. Right. <laughs> so in fact it's a completely different band to the band that I first spoke to in 1990? Yeah, just me and Chris left. Right. But for, for yourselves, we're working with 4AD, and I mean, is that, um, how is the process of going through with something like that, for instance, where you become a new line up a new band was that easy are they comfortable with that or no yeah, problems I think they were quite happy with it yeah yeah once I mean like we've been working now for a year as this new band just right. working on new songs and yeah they, they seem quite happy with it and we're like going to go in and start work on the album next month okay so they're helpful and go with it yeah. so when do we you, you start recording next month when we're we looking at that next year probably yeah. for now January release probably okay 
All right. A long time. Thanks for joining us here on uh, 120. Thank we look forward to some new material then Thanks. in 1994. Ah, bit of throwing music, canting backwards, and we're still here at the RCA. Yeah, this is a good song, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's a good song. And um, some of the breeders, let's put it like that, some of the breeders have joined me here at a table because you're about to go on stage in about... About two minutes. About, yeah. about, <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're saying that you're particularly fragile at the moment. You've had a hard week. I have had a hard week because I've, I've come to every show and, um, you know how it is. You start off evening, say, I'll have one drink, and then before you know it, you've had, like, right. four. So, yeah. And then you stay up until six in the morning, yeah. and then it's all a bit, you know... But it's not the sort of thing we can feel sympathetic about, really, is it? Uh, uh, just checked it. Oh, it looks looks good. So you're actually special guests tonight. Yes, we are. We're surprised. Shh. Um, how do we, how, how are these surprise guests selected then? I don't have any idea. I knew two days ago that you were. Did you be really? Yeah. Well, see, so you're in. No to me I, at all. I have no idea. I don't even know why they had a surprise guest. Um, to surprise everybody. Well, to make things fun, I think it was meant to be a fun thing. Yeah. Well, has it been a fun week? Generally. I've been sleeping all week. I got jet lag and I don't count. Oh, right. <laughs> no, it's that. actually the second time. <laughs> oh, right. okay. Bad. Well, we'll talk a little more about your week and what's going on after we see you live on stage. Okay. Readers. So, so we're drawing towards the climax of the show, literally. And um, hey, hey, let's be Wait, let's let's be professional and talk about what's happening with the breeders. I mean, what's going to happen record-wise and stuff, and you know. Um, <laughs> um, you, no, we have a single coming out on. Um, oh, we're really professional. We know August what's going on. No. Uh, my mind's a blank. I can tell you. Um, August the ninth, single. single Cannonball. Right. For which there's a very good video made by, directed by Kim Gordon and Spike Jones, which no doubt you'll be seeing later. Yeah, at some stage. And album. And the album's due out on the 31st of August, and we'll be touring last week. I was week just about September. to ask that. I was going to say, you're gonna be, when are you going to be touring? <laughs> uh, we're touring from now on. We're going to be at Reading. Yeah. And then we're going to do like a showcase hype tour in the States right. for like 12 days. And then we come to England, okay. uh, all, like all of October. And then we go back to the States for like all of November. Okay. So. All right. Well, listen, well we're going to check you out live on stage again now. I'm going to say goodbye. We'll be here again next week, 9 o'clock Central European time, or those alternative and independent kind of stuff. And to close the show after the readers, this mortal call, who kind of, well, it's like a bit of everybody on 4AD, really, this mortal call. Aww. What not you on this occasion? <laughs> but this is you coming up now, Breeders Live on stage. Bye. Yeah,